Most smokers are aware of the health risks, but kicking their nicotine addiction is far from easy. Cigarettes are the most dangerous way to consume nicotine, and any smoker who's having a hard time quitting should consider other methods of nicotine delivery to reduce their cancer risk. Pre-portioned oral pouches containing nicotine flavoring, artificial sweeteners, and other chemicals are an emerging alternative to smoking that has skyrocketed in popularity. Over the last few years, they've actually grown at a rate of 8% per month. A new study by the Center for Tobacco Research at the Ohio State University Comprehensive Cancer Center finds nicotine pouches may not be the ideal answer for smokers looking to quit. And you'll have this pouch in for 30 minutes. Researchers observed as participants either smoked a cigarette or used oral pouches with various amounts of nicotine and found the pouches failed to curb cravings. Cigarettes usually spike your nicotine after about five minutes of smoking. Nicotine pouches is a much more gradual process like other smokeless tobacco products where it takes 30 to 60 minutes to reach your peak. The study results raise concerns that smokers who opt for oral pouches may just increase their nicotine intake. We don't know how good they are at helping people stop smoking. And we also don't know the long term outcomes. Sales trends show non smokers are trying nicotine pouches as well, and experts worry they may result in increased nicotine addiction for teens. And we're seeing more and more flavored products enter the market. We know that flavors are really appealing to young people. So limiting flavors in nicotine pouches is one approach that could reduce their appeal. At the Ohio State University Comprehensive Cancer Center, James Cancer Hospital, and Solove Research Institute Center for Tobacco Research, I'm Barb Consiglio.